everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Hannah I am a mom to one toddler boy and one new baby on the way and that is exactly why we are here today I'm going to be doing a pregnancy update for weeks five through eight I didn't get a positive test until four days after my missed period and I mean I feel like most people they just like oh I should take a test it's been a while but I was like tracking mine and it took four days for it to come back positive and so yeah but anyway we are here for weeks five six seven and eight and honestly I cannot believe that I'm back here in this room on my bed in this you know situation talking about pregnancy again I'm just really happy that I get to do this again one other thing is we are also moving so this won't be the location that you see every single time just a heads up I'm gonna start off with going to my pregnancy app currently I'm I'm week nine so we're gonna do week eight which was last week oh I'm using the bump by the way Last week, baby was as big as a raspberry. So it says at week eight, I probably wouldn't be showing that I'm pregnant, obviously. Um, and I'm, and that I probably most likely am starting to experience some symptoms if I hadn't been already. And I will talk a little bit about that. How big is the baby? During the eighth week of pregnancy, baby is big, is as big as a raspberry and weighs about 0 0.04 ounces and measures about 0.63 inches and baby is growing about a millimeter every day eight weeks pregnant means two months um but doctors don't go by months obviously they go by weeks um that's just something that the bump has pointed out last time i used the pregnancy plus app and i have not figured out how to add another baby on there how to add another pregnancy on there without losing my previous pregnancy so i just said okay i'll just do i'll try a different app and so that's what i'm doing i liked the graphics better of the pregnancy plus app like when you can see the baby or your body um but aside from all of that i told you the size and the weight so i'm going to kind of go through um week by week on the app and it tells you what symptoms you might be feeling and so i will read that list um, for each week and kind of tell you what i experienced each week starting at week five which the baby was the size of an apple seed the symptoms that i could have started feeling was sore breasts and no that was not one for me this time morning sickness not at five weeks i didn't i didn't feel anything at five weeks fatigue hmm i think i was a little bit tired frequent urination nope cramps maybe but i think they were kind of like a different type of cramp than a normal cramp. They were like the cramps that I had with my first baby and then spotting. I did not have spotting. So let me look at my list of symptoms. So for week five, this is, these are the symptoms that I had experienced. I wrote them down and I'm just gonna read them off. I said, feel a little queasy when I got hungry. No sharp pain when I got super hungry. Thirsty as heck. <laughs> um, not as bad. As when I was pumping though that was that was thirst like no other um, when I was pumping breast milk for my son whew, the thirst was unreal um, and then heartburn after having spaghetti so they're kind of specific things and the funny thing is is they didn't happen all of the time they really only happen a few times and nothing really has Nothing has really like transferred over week to week, um, especially since it's all like, oh, it happened this day, but it didn't happen again. Okay, so for week six, I believe the bump has the same um, symptoms that I could be feeling. At week six, the baby was the size of a sweet pea. And it says that I could have been feeling fatigued, 
nausea, sore breasts, frequent urination, gas and bloating, and mood swings, cramping, and spotting. Um, gas and bloating, I definitely felt. So back to my note, I feel bloated down low on my belly, mostly at night or when my bladder is full. It feels like my uterus is just like expanding so much and it's like sore and I just like have to, I feel like I have to like hold it in place and not let it grow but um yeah that's kind of what the bloating feels like i don't i don't think i look bloated but i definitely feel like i am so on this specific day on week six we had gone to a park early in the morning with my son and i think i had like a tiny little breakfast but then when we got back i felt so like queasy and like weak and I think it was a combination of being hungry and it was hot and just being pregnant and tired. I think it went away when I ate and took a nap, but I didn't write that down. I was not very specific with that. So here is when the exhaustion hit another day during the six weeks. I said, I am exhausted. And for the first time since having Cade, I took a nap while he was playing and that was very odd to me because normally I'm awake and coherent and fine when he's playing and you know I have energy most of the time but I couldn't resist taking a nap and I took a nap and I woke up and Cade was just like just staring at me like mom what are you doing and so yeah that was interesting to say the least oh and so my thoughts about that i said maybe it was because i stayed up really late but i usually can push through but not today and on the same day i also accidentally waited too long to eat something this morning and felt like i was close to feeling like i could pass out right before i ate lunch so that has been a thing sorry i feel like i needed to get closer so in week six i started having some troubles with the eating situation and food and it was like if I if I just waited too long to eat then I would hurt my stomach would hurt really badly <laughs> and um, yeah like it would just be really bad hunger pains and I think it really was just hunger pains at that point so on to week seven because that's all I have about week six um, but week seven, baby was the size of a blueberry. <laughs> and I, yeah, I did not write down notes for this week. I'm going to try to remember some stuff, but let me just read what the bump says. It says morning sickness, of course, food cravings or aversions, frequent urination, acne, extra saliva, mood swings, cramping, and or spotting. So I don't remember any of those specific um, symptoms, but I do remember that my eating situation continued. So if I waited too long, my hunger pain would just be really bad and I would have to eat like right away. And it kind of started to be like, if I waited too long and I ate, then my stomach, would still hurt even after eating or even hurt more and <laughs> so that was really frustrating um, another thing that continued on into week seven was bloating and this is when I noticed that my stomach or my uterus area would hurt whenever I lay down and I remember this from my last pregnancy where I had to have something like holding my stomach or like against my stomach when I sleep and I have to do that now. I don't have a pregnancy pillow. That was something that I was like, I'm gonna get right away next time. And I haven't mostly because I'm afraid that the pregnancy pillows that I've seen are just too soft and squishy. Like they don't hold their shape. And I need something pretty firm because I, I have a heavy body. Like, you know, I'm just going to squish a soft little pillow. So I need something that's going to hold my weight and support me. 
so I'm just hesitant to get a pregnancy pillow whenever like a stuffed animal is pretty firm but also soft um, and it does the trick pretty well so that's what I've been doing that is that was pretty much week seven in a nutshell going on to week eight the baby was the size of a raspberry and the the symptoms that they said were sore breast fatigue morning sickness heightened sense of smell pregnancy cramps constipation weird dreams spotting um so again i did not write anything down for week eight i need to get back on it and start writing them down in week eight i did notice my boobs getting sore nothing like the week that they were sore last time um they just you know i don't want to be squeezed <laughs> like i don't want to be hugged too hard um because it hurts just a little bit and it says that they might feel bigger and heavier and i feel like they feel heavier but also i am very well blessed in my chest area and so they always feel big but i do feel like they feel just a little bit heavier um especially like on the bottom and that's probably tmi but um fatigue i would say that it definitely definitely has continued on into week eight morning sickness not really heightened sense of smell not yet not in week eight pregnancy cramps i don't think i've felt any cramps not since the beginning constipation unfortunately <laughs> and then weird dreams and spotting no okay i just like went off on a tangent but let me backtrack some and try to redo what i said so at the beginning of week eight i got sick i think i ate some bad chicken or i got a stomach bug i'm not exactly sure but um that kind of like encouraged some constipation some bathroom troubles all that jazz another thing that was exasperated that's the word i was looking for another thing that got exasperated was the eating the food situation oh my goodness okay so it was if i waited too long um, my stomach would hurt really bad the hunger pains would be really bad if i ate sometimes my stomach felt really bad afterwards and sometimes it was fine now it's almost every time I eat my stomach hurts really bad um yeah it's it's really frustrating <laughs> and I don't necessarily have aversions like when I think about a food I'll be like "Ooh, I like that that sounds really good but if it's being made and I smell it and it smells weird there's no way you can get me to eat it and if that's not the case and you just put it down in front of me and I look at it and it doesn't like i'll just be like you want me to put that in my mouth even though i had asked for it there's no way i want to eat it <laughs> so that has been a really big juxtaposition from this pregnancy from my last my last one was all food was off limits except for basically sonic corn dogs <laughs> and so i can't decide which one is the lesser of the evils um but that is what had been happening during week eight. Again, I was still really tired. Um, again, with the bloating, that hurt my stomach hurts at night. Just like have to hold it. I don't have frequent urination, but I would say that I have gotten up in the middle of the night a few times to go to the bathroom to go pee because... I don't know I guess maybe I drank water too close to bedtime I try not to do that I learned my lesson last time to try to just not drink water at, like at least 30 minutes before bed but sometimes you just have to because the thirst it happens and um, yeah so only a handful of times have I had to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night but honestly those are about all of the symptoms that I have been feeling, have had so far. Um, I'm sure there will be more. I'm sure just like pain is gonna start happening. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me show you what the baby looks like in my body according to 
the bump so at week eight it has some information and it says because baby is moving around a lot though you can't feel it yet you might catch it on ultrasound if you have your first prenatal appointment this week the baby's eyes are darkening with pigment but its eyelids eyelids are fused shut for the next few months and then the last thing it says is even in this early stage baby is developing taste buds that is all of my symptoms and that's what the baby looks like so now i will show you some bump date photos starting at week five that's when i actually started taking photos <music> That is actually all that I have for you guys today on this pregnancy bump date. Thank you guys so much for watching this one and thank you for following along. If you decide to do so, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give it a like, comment down below. Let me know if you're pregnant too, if you're experiencing any of the same symptoms. How far along are you? I want to know it all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.